Back in 2002, I was attending the World Youth Day in my hometown of Toronto. In the days leading up to the World Youth Day, there was a lot of talk about the very poor health of the visiting Pope John Paul II. And there was also some concern regarding how many people would actually show up for the event. Given the tremendous success of World Youth Day in so many other places, I have to admit that I was worried about how the event would go over in my native country. Thankfully, the main World Youth Day Mass, 850,000 youth were in attendance, and my fears were greatly alleviated. But even more incredibly, during the homily of the Pope, who looked so incredibly frail, the crowd began to chant in unison, the Pope is young, the Pope is young. It was an amazing act of solidarity between a very frail, saintly old Pope attending his last ever World Youth Day and a crowd of young people. The stark difference in age and health was completely overcome in a mysterious union together. After the World Youth Day in Toronto, St. John Paul II went to Mexico City to canonize Blessed Juan Diego. Amazingly, when the Pope showed up in Mexico, the crowd began to chant the following, The Pope is Mexican! The Pope is Mexican! Once again, they experienced a real unity with the Pope. Those events reminded me of St. Paul's passage from the first letter to the Corinthians. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. To the youth, the then 82-year-old, sick and frail Pope was young, and to the Mexicans, the Polish Pope was a Mexican. In today's second reading, we are continuing from the same section of St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, and he continues along a similar theme. While being totally faithful to the gospel of Jesus Christ, St. Paul says he is trying to give offense to no one and to please everyone, not for his own benefit, but to try to win them for Christ. Paul knows that Christ wills everyone to be saved, and so he takes whatever means are possible to be united with them in order to bring them to Jesus Christ. In today's gospel, we see Jesus' attitude and disposition toward a group of people, lepers, who are set apart from the community on account of being unclean. Rather than separate himself from the leper he meets, Jesus is moved with pity, makes himself pleasing to the man, unites himself to him by touching him, and makes the leper clean and whole. From there, the former leper goes out and tells whoever will listen what Jesus did for him, and as a result, people keep coming to Jesus from everywhere. My brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ has also touched you and me. He has also united himself to us, and now it is our turn to proclaim the wonders of his work in our lives. Following the example of St. Paul and St. John Paul II, and in order to maximize the effect of our proclamation to Jesus, let us strive to become all things to all people so that we can bring at least some to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.